Linkin Park recently used AI to generate this music video for their song, Lost. I'm alone, I'm lost it turns out that it's actually pretty easy to make AI generated music videos like that. And I'm gonna show you all exactly how to do that in this video. Here are a few examples of what I've already come up with. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use artificial intelligence to generate your own unique song. And then we're going to create a seed image for our video. This will be the initial frame. This will be the setting of our video. And then we're gonna use an AI tool to animate that photo and actually generate synchronized video. So we're not just generating video and laying it on top of the music. The AI tool that we're gonna be using is actually gonna be analyzing the melody, the beats, and the energy of your song, and then generating synchronized video to go with your music, which is a really big deal. As you can tell right here, the synchronicity between the video and the song is really what ties it all together it makes an incredible final product then at the very end as a little bonus i'm going to show you how you can use a video editor to tie several of these clips together and create a full music video and you don't have to use a video editor i just want to show you all how if you wanted to you could tie them all together but by just generating the music and the video you'll come up with some pretty incredible ai generated music video by the way if you enjoy learning about ai and how to use new emerging ai tools be sure to go ahead and subscribe let's get started the AI music generator that we'll be using in this video is called Soundstraw.io. It's been one of my favorites so far. Not only do they have a free plan that allows you to generate unlimited songs for free, but if you did want to actually monetize your music video, you could do that with your paid plan, which starts at only $19.99, which in my opinion is well worth it. And no, they're not a sponsor of this video, although I definitely think they should be. If you wanna check them out, I'll put a discount code in the description of this video. With that code, you can get a 14 day free trial, which actually does include the license to the music that you generate. So that is a way that you could start monetizing your music videos for free. With this AI music generator, you can discover pre-generated clips based on the mood, genre, theme, length, tempo, and even the instruments that were used. I would argue that this is the most important part of your music video because this is what your visuals will be generated off of. So I would recommend generating a song with high energy and high beats per minute. So far, I've gotten good results by setting a genre combination of hip hop and trap, and then setting the mood as smooth, hopeful, and sexy, and then turning up the tempo to the highest beats per minute. From here, you can sample the different tracks and click around until you find something that you like. When something does click with you, you can click on pro mode and completely customize the song. You can change the different stems within the song. You can adjust the beats per minute, adjust the instruments that are used, and even adjust the length of the song as well. Once you get it to a point that you like, you can simply just download it. I've already generated one that I really like a lot, so this is the one that I'm gonna be using for the remainder of this tutorial. If you're wanting to use a song that has vocals, unfortunately, AI just isn't there yet. It's getting really close, but it's just not quite there yet. So in that case, I would recommend using a music library called Epidemic Sounds. There they have tons of music that you can download royalty free. And if you would like to try them out, I'll actually put a link in the description where you can get a 30 day free trial where you can download that music and actually publish it and monetize it if you wanted to. Now that we have our song, it's time to generate the seed image of our video. This will be the initial frame, and the video generator will essentially take this image and generate the entire video based on this initial photo. You can really use any image that you would like. 
However, I have found lexica.art to be a fantastic resource for coming up with some pretty great images for music videos. For one thing, they're free to use, at least for the first 100 images that you generate every month. And on top of that, they have a fantastic gallery that you can scroll through to get inspiration and find a style and a theme that you'd like to use for your video. I typically put on the music that I chose for my video and I'll scroll through the gallery until I find an image that really clicks with the music that I want to use in my video. Then I'll click on the image, copy the prompt, and put it into the image generator. I'll then adjust the prompt however I'd like to generate that perfect photo. I'm adding in busy New York City street. This is what the prompt says. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And these are the photos that Lexica generated. Sometimes it takes several tries to really get the image that you're wanting. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. And it now says animate astronaut walking down busy New York City street. And let's go and see what Lexica comes up with this time. So I really like this photo on the end on the far right. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And this is the one that I'll use for the video. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and save as. And now we can move on to actually generating the video. The same technology that was used to generate the Linkin Park music video is available in a really easy to use AI tool called Kyber.ai. I'll put a link in the description where you can get 30 credits for free once you sign up. And the pro plan is $15, which will give you 1000 credits, which is enough for approximately 10 minutes worth of video. And when you have the pro plan, there's also no watermark on the video as well. So you can use the video however you'd like. If you're wanting to make TikTok videos or YouTube short videos with your music videos, this could allow you to make around 20 videos that are 30 seconds each. I'm gonna make two different videos right now, walking all through two different prompt styles. And the first thing you do once you get logged in is upload your image. Then I would recommend clicking on the link that allows you to trim your audio that way you can trim down your song and create a few different scenes with the same song and that way you don't use a whole bunch of credits every time that you make a video so right now i'm trimming down the song to 16 seconds and once you have trimmed it to a point that you like you just want to go ahead and click crop and then download that clip of your song back over here on kyber you just want to go ahead and upload that clip and as you can tell this clip right here is going to cost me 16 credits from there, just click continue to prompt. This is where you're actually gonna type in the prompt for your video. I would recommend typing in something that involves motion. That way your character will have some kind of motion in the video. Mine says astronaut dancing and jumping in street, and then just click continue. And now you type in the style of art that you want your video to have. Mine says vintage 90s anime. I would recommend trying to relate this style to the style of your image. And now you can adjust the camera movement direction in your video. You can have it zoom in, zoom out, rotate, pan to the left, pan to the right. You can choose whichever one you would like. And then just click generate and wait for the video to finish generating. Okay, this is the generated video. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, that's really cool. But well, let's say that you want your video to actually change settings and change scenes within the same clip. That's what I'm gonna show you all how to do now. And at the same time, I'm gonna show you how to add an additional clip to your first clip to create your full music video. So I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere for the video editing. And I'm just gonna drag in our initial clip right here. And I'm gonna take a frame shot it's just like a screenshot of one of the last frames of the video. That way when we add on the second video clip to this first one, it'll appear to have a seamless transition. So I'm back over here on Kyber and I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that frame shot that we just took. And I'm gonna go back to the audio clipper and I'm gonna adjust the clip of the song. So I'm actually gonna start this new clip at 16 seconds, which was the end of our first clip. That way there will be a seamless transition within the audio. And same process as before, 
I'm going to click Crop and then Download. I'm going to come back over here to Kyber and upload this new clip. Now to actually have your video clip change scenes and settings within the same clip is just going to take a little bit of prompt engineering. Nothing too difficult though. To do that, you need to put in a prompt that has a different setting than what the image is. So for example, this one says man dancing through life in space. Obviously the image is of a person on a street. So it's gonna take that initial frame and then transition the video into hopefully somebody dancing in space. And having that abstract idea of life thrown into the prop there, it's gonna come up with some pretty unique scenes. So let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna use the same art style as before, vintage anime, then just continue to the settings. And it's really important that you click enable to show the initial image in the first frame. That way your music video will have a seamless transition. And for this camera movement, I'm gonna click rotate clockwise. That way we can get some rotation in the video. Click generate and let's see what Kyber comes up with this time. All right, so I think this video clip is a lot cooler than the first one. You can definitely tell how by including in the prompt a setting that was different from the image setting that it transitioned into a completely different scene. And on top of that, by including an, an abstract idea such as life, it just threw in a whole bunch of unique frames in there. So I think this is a really cool clip right here. Now we're gonna go back over to Adobe Premiere and just drag this new clip into Adobe. And I'm gonna adjust the length of the clips to help the audio line up seamlessly. And once you get that to a good point, you can just drag in a video transition. And just like that, we have our final product. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, I think that's a really cool video. And we just kind of threw this all together right now. Imagine if you really got intentional with your prompts and you really got creative with it. I know you all can make something pretty amazing with this technology. If you got any value out of this video, please go ahead and like it. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll see y'all next time.